ATN Excite 2 How To Videos. In this video, we'll be creating a bullet profile both using the Excite 2 and the Obsidian app. To start, go to Settings, Profiles and Zeros. From here, you'll select the current profile or any other profile you wish to edit. Under the profiles, you'll enter first the drag function. Most common is G1 or G7. The bullet manufacturer will have this information readily on their website along with the ballistic coefficient. For our example, I'm using a 223 bullet with a ballistic coefficient of 0.21 and a bullet weight of 55 grains. The ballistic coefficient will go out to the thousands if needed. Same with bullet grain, you would enter it here. Muzzle velocity is obtained from the ammunition manufacturer's box or from using a chronograph. Next is your zero range, and this is critical if you use the ballistic calculation. You must enter the distance to zero when you sight your rifle in. If you wish to do less than 100, you can remove that third zero and make it something like 50. Last is sight height. These sights sit extremely high on most rifles. This is measured from center of bore to center of sight, thus the 3.2 inch height on my AR. I have found typically that on a bolt action it's closer to 2.5 to 2.75. Next we will use the Obsidian app to enter the same information. We'll make the assumption that you've already connected the Wi-Fi to your X site and to your phone. From here launch the Obsidian app. Connect to your, connect to your device. Go to the profile settings. Select the current profile. Once you select it at the top, you can actually generate a name for your profile that will update in the X site. From here, we'll do the same thing. You will select your drag function, your ballistic coefficient, bullet weight, muzzle velocity, range to zero, sight height. You will also be able to zero your reticle from here, but we will not cover that in this video. Once you hit apply, they will, these settings will update to your site. 